Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. Today I got something really interesting for you and I'm going to be unboxing it right here, right in front of you guys, right here on YouTube and wherever else I decide to post this video up. Why? Because I'm anxious to get into this. It's been released here for at least a, mm, I'm going to put it about two weeks now. And I finally was able to get it even though that there's some people out there that's already had it. Um, This one was a tough one to find, so let me get right into it. Boom! Look at that. We got Sam Adams Hopology IPA. Man, I'm going to tell you what, man. Getting right into this, if, if nobody has seen it, take a look at that. Take a look at that. Grumpy Monk Whitewater IPA. They're double agent IPL. Let's, let's turn it over here. Their third voyage, the Tasman Red, and we got a new one. So let's go ahead and bust this open right here for you guys. And um, we got the Grumpy Monk, man. I'm happy about the Grumpy Monk. Of course, we've got the Whitewater IPA. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Look at that. Look at that. Here's the new one. And this is the one that I'm going to be doing the review on. It's the Rogan Wolf. That's what I'm going to be doing for you this evening. But don't forget, we got the Double Agent IPO. We have their Tasman Red. And we have my loved Third Voyage. So, with that out of the way and with that said, we go ahead and throw this right down there real quick. And let's get into this, man. Boom. Here it is. The brand new Samuel Adams Rogan Wolf. It is a rye IPA. This one's coming in at 7% uh, alcohol by volume. Let's see, it says, Sly with a cunning bite. This smooth, artful brew entices with its subtle sweetness, yet reveals a sharper side. Just like a handsome yet fearsome wolf who is appeared by, um, let's see, like rye left in the fields, in the German folklore, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here we go, man. They actually listed some hops on here. Very, very nice. It says, Autonom and Galaxy Hops in this IPA. Mm -hmm -hmm. Peppery rye spice creating an utterly transfixing brew. Now, as always, they do have a notch um, in the side here. It's for July 2014. Um... I'm just anxious to get in here, man. Let's see. What else do they have on here? Uh, cumulus, lupulus, Latin for meaning for hops and also meaning for wolf. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. The Rogan is actually German for rye. Very nice. It's just printed real small because this ain't one of their bomber style bottles. So therefore, this is only a 12 ounce bottle and I want to pop it open and get right into this. Because the only thing that I do not know is the IBU count on this and um, oh, I'll just figure that out later and go ahead and post it into you guys. All right, here we go. Popped open. Loads of smoke. Very, very nice. Um, I was going to go with the traditional Sam Adams glass, but uh, to get a full nose and uh, aroma on it, I'm definitely going to go with a Sam Adams tulip. All right, here we go. And get a pour up on this. Oh, look at that color. That is just beautiful. All right. Get a nice amount of head on here. We could probably fit it all in, but I'm not going to. All right, first off. Carbonation is streaming up. That is a very lovely color, man. Look at it. It's almost like a, a, a very light copper um, to this effect. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call that a light copper color. Um, maybe a rich copper color because I'm getting lighter colors here, darker in the middle, and as you can see, you can see the underlining of the um, head here. Uh, right, crystal clear. You can definitely see through it. Head is very nice, smooth and creamy. Nice, tight, little bubbles all the way up until you get to the very top. And then you have some more robust um, bubbles up there. 
couple big ones on the side over here. Um, the color, I would say that that's not a total brilliant white color, but I would also say that it's just, it's like an eggshell color. Now let me go ahead and toss these aside and get a nose in on this for you guys. And here we go. Oh yeah, you can definitely smell the hops. The hops are like the first thing that came to, you know, the, the nose, man. They're very aromatic. And you can definitely smell a peppery note in there. It is definitely there. Grassy notes, um, citra notes. Little, oh, that's definitely got a grapefruit aroma to it. Man, this is smelling amazing, especially for an IPA. So let me go ahead and see if we can't top this off. There we go. We got it all in. Look at that. I knew we could. Just a little bit of effort. All right, here we go, man. Prost. Let's get a, a taste on this. Wow. All right. The hops are like really up front. The rye note is kind of like mixed in between the two hops to me. Um, you're definitely getting a little bit of a peppery note at the back end. I mean, this is not going to be boom up in your face rye. Um, this is definitely a subtle um, rye IPA. Very nice, very lovely, um, but definitely more on the long lines of the IPA. I mean, the IPA is just going to be your base and the rye is pretty much just going to um, lend its notes throughout the beer. I don't mind that. I don't, if something says rye IPA to me, I don't expect, you know, to get a mouthful of rye with just a little bit of uh, substitute hops. I really want, especially if it's an IPA, I want it to be an IPA with a little bit of rye in it. And that just seems to be what it's doing here. But let me go ahead and get some more up on this. The rise there, it's definitely coming in. It comes in right at the beginning and right at the end. Um, the middle of the mouth feel, um, that's where most of these hops are coming. I mean, there is that uh, that that little bit of... Uh, it's uh, bitterness mixed with a little bit of spicy note. Um, it's very smooth, very, um, I, I think it's very well done. Some people are just going to be, okay, it's another Sam Adams beer, so therefore it's going to be another mediocrity beer. Um, I, I don't think it's totally the case with this beer. It's, it's very well done to me. Um, I'm not just being biased here because of the fact that I love the company as much as I do, but, um, I do want to go out there and say, Hey, it's not, like I said, it's not a mouthful of rye. That's what I like about it. Um, the, the hops here, the galaxy and the autonom, uh, they've done a very well, a very good job. I mean, you get in that little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of grassy note, um, there, there's that substantial bitterness there. It's not an overwhelming bitter. Um, but I think that this has done a very good job. I like it. So therefore, if I had to rate it, um, I'm going to give it a solid B plus, um, as a, especially for the IPA, rye IPA. So I'm going to get up out of here. If you guys can find this, that's the tricky part. If you can find it, it happens to be like I showed you in the IPA Hopology pack, but I have yet to see it in a 12 pack. Here in Ohio, I have learned that they're only available at your local Costco and possibly your local Sam's Club. I have not seen any 12 packs and I have not heard of any 12 packs hitting the market. So they're only available in the 24 packs. So with that said, I'm about to get up out of here and I'll see you guys again later, man. Peace, pros, deuce, and this has been your Rogan Wolf IPA review, man. Peace.